Hey besties, this video is a little bit different than my usual reaction video and yeah, I don't know. I just had this idea earlier today and I was like, I'm going to do it. So I did it and here we are. So if you can see the title, I'm going to be ranking SP19's performances on a tier list. I don't know if any of you guys have seen it, what a tier list is. Yeah, and I actually published this. So I think if you go on tiermaker.com, you'll be able to like also do the tier list so yeah um so let me just give you a rundown of what is going on right now <laughs> why is that cup bigger than my face okay so i went through and this is obviously not all of their performances like it's obviously not okay but i picked some of their best i mean they don't have any bad performances however i picked some of the suspicious ones um, and some of my personal favorites, if you will, because this is actually just an excuse for me to talk about them and to simp over Ezra 19 for like probably like 20 minutes straight. So that's a thing. Um, but yeah, okay. So as you can see on the bottom here, I just have screenshots of the performances. Um, you might be able to tell what some of them are. You might not. I don't know. But I know what they are. Don't worry. So let me walk you through the tiers. Okay, we're going to go from bottom to top. Not my fave. Um, this means it's still good. It's just personally not my fave. It kind of just is common sense what that means. Um, the second to last is good, but have not watched it more than once or twice. Um, you know, there are performances that you that I just like, because they perform a lot of the same songs, because I mean, they don't have that many songs, like when we're actually thinking about it, right? Because they are just like a newer group still. So sometimes if they perform like the same song over and over again, I'm not gonna watch every single one all the time. I'm gonna like watch my favorite a few times and call it a day. Okay, um, so right in the middle we have, they did what they had to do. Now this tier means, you know, it's not like, it's not like, it doesn't have like, like it doesn't have me levitating, but like, it's also like, I've seen it multiple times, you know, like they did what they had to do. Like it was a serve and that's that. Um, second um, tier is, it's living rent free in my brain to this very day. Um, pretty self-explanatory, just lives in my head rent free. It's a performance that I literally can't forget about um and then we have the top tier right here um play this at my funeral so we can all just gather you know what that performance you know did for me right okay okay so I hope you guys are keeping up I hope you guys are um picking up what I'm putting down and I also hope this video is not boring for you oh my god if it's boring don't tell me Also, like, should I take my glasses off? Ew, I look ugly because I'm not wearing makeup. But I can't stand the ring light thing in my glasses. Okay, but I might have to get real close to my computer because now I can't see. Okay, so we're just gonna start. Okay, let me screen record really quickly. The first performance we have is Ezra 19 at the Round Festival. Now, the Round Festival, in my personal opinion, is iconic it is the moment it was everything i think everything down to like every detail was perfect amazing beautiful loved it so much okay so let's talk about it real quick so all the songs they performed amazing the live vocals amazing serving as usual and also the setting like where they were and also the the staff that put in that work for all of the background things happening amazing however however it wasn't it didn't have me you know dying you know like struggling you know like it didn't have me gasping for air like some of these other performances so i'm gonna have to put it at it's living rent free in my brain to this very day my mom is talking so loud okay after being rudely interrupted by my family being loud Oh my god uh, what can i do about this okay anyways we're gonna just keep moving on um okay so next we have the performance of the century in my opinion um i'm just gonna move this to the top tier play this at my funeral and it is the nsync mashup that they performed at the our zone concert now if you did not have the opportunity to watch the R Zone concert, like that was either live or any of the replays. I am so sorry because this performance alone, I would have paid the amount of money I paid for 
um, Zone 19 just to see this performance. Like, does that make sense? Like, I would have paid that same amount if I just got to see this performance, you know? And I think that speaks volumes. It really speaks volumes, and this performance changed my life. I, I remember when it happened, because it was the first day of our zone, and I was in Zone 19, so my stream was ahead of my friends. And when I heard it's gonna be me start playing, I had an out of body experience and since my stream was ahead I was like guys I was like freaking out and they're like why are you freaking out they're probably like this girl like can she please calm down and but I think it was very valid that I did that anyways also if you're wondering why I picked um the day one performance specifically also obviously if you're wondering why I picked suits, thank you so much. I don't um the day one performance specifically it is obviously because of the purple velvet, velvet suits, suits. thank you so much I don't know why anyone would be wondering why expected at this point okay so next performance we have phil corfest 2020 now i remember when this came out i did not react to it unfortunately but i did watch it when it came out and i loved it so much okay so first of all let's talk about this i think i know where i'm gonna put it but let me just put it there and i'll explain myself i'm gonna put it in the they did what they had to do okay and here's why this is by no means a bad performance the only reason that it is in the, the um, middle tier is because they did not sing live, you know? However, not singing live was okay because, first of all, their outfits, the like modern but still Filipino like traditional outfits were a serve. They did what they had to do, of course. And also the camera work was just chef's kiss. Like it was literally, it was chef's kiss. I have nothing else to say about that. Okay, so next we have, okay, so this is, okay, yep, this is Hangang Sao Huli. Um, this is my favorite Hangang Sao Huli performance, so I'm a little bit biased. I picked this one for a reason, and I hope you guys agree with me. So it is the Hangang Sao Huli performance um, on TM for that, like, um, TM Pusuan, I, Pusuan? Am I saying that correctly? I don't even know. Hopefully you guys know what I mean. Um... I'm putting this straight to the top. No questions asked. Play this at my funeral. This is the best performance of Hangang Sao Huli. And that's saying a lot because, first of all, Hangang Sao Huli is my favorite song of as many teens. So, like, I have high standards when it comes to this song. I'm very picky. No, I'm not. Let's be honest. No, I'm not. However, I do have high standards, okay? I've never seen a bad performance of Hangang Sao Huli, to be honest, but this one, for some reason, just really hits different. Like, I... I don't know how to explain it, but I hope you guys understand. So, okay. Okay. Okay, <laughs> the lineup that I have. Okay, so next is the Ikako performance. I'm going straight to the top with this one too. Actually, we're going to put It's Living Right Free in My Brain to this very day because it didn't kill me. Like, it didn't have me um, being reborn like these two up here. Um, but it does live rent free in my head and I can't remember the exact title of this But hopefully by the thumbnail if you guys can see this, I don't know. You'll know what performance it is It's the Ikako performance. The Ikako performance. So hopefully by it, me just saying that you know I, I mean during the pandemic obviously I feel like we all listen to Ikako so much um, And this cute little performance was just like so nice to watch Like I think it came out more like when it was like the second quarantine am i wrong i don't know i just remember watching it so so much when i was just like at home bored nothing to do you know covid was still happening i mean it still is happening but you know what i mean right you know what i mean okay so next we have oh my gosh i feel like i'm just putting them all at the top and i need to calm down okay next we have youtube fan fest 2020 and if you guys have seen my reaction I think you know where this is going. <laughs> um, straight to the top. Straight to the top. Bop to the top. I feel like this performance deserves this top tier just like more than any other performance. Well, not really, but like let me explain. How many times am I gonna say let me explain in this video? I don't know. Anyways, this performance I feel like brought a whole new like surge of reactors to the fandom which it was just like i don't know i remember this era being so like there was a lot of new fans that were 
coming during this time so I feel like that's a reason that it needs to be at the top tier and also it just needs to be at the top tier because of the concept like point blank period this performance was so amazing I feel like this was one of the first performances where they kind of like showed off like Josh kind of showed off like his body which like doesn't mean that it needs to be in the top tier but like it had everyone shook like let's not let's not lie to ourselves this performance was just so good this performance was so good I loved it so much okay anyways that leads us to YouTube Fan Fest 2021 which I'm gonna put this in the good but I have not watched it more than once or twice and don't hate me guys i love this performance and i love their bazinga with this ac it's just not my favorite i mean i mean you guys can look back on my reaction and you would probably think the opposite um i mean the the outfits still like now that i think about it the outfits did serve i don't know i feel like i remember the camera work not being too good and i feel like that kind of like if i'm gonna rewatch a performance like multiple multiple times it needs to be an hd like point blank period like i need to see that crystal clear you know and I feel like this camera work just wasn't my fave and I feel like that's why I'm putting it here but maybe I need to rewatch it I did rewatch some of these to like refresh my brain even though I don't need to do that okay now this next performance I don't know how many baby 18 watch my videos or how new some of you guys are to SB19 but if you're an OG if you are an OG like myself let me just flex this real quick then you probably remember their first ever online concert and know their first ever online concert was not bits a lot of people think it was but no it wasn't they had an online concert in back in 2019 i can't remember the month was it september i don't even remember but it was back in the day guys it was like 2019 at the end of 2019 i remember very vividly being that time of year and let me just tell you this concert changed my life changed the trajectory of my life very much it did and this performance i added in here because just because i can just because it it left a longing impact on my mind and body and soul and i think that you know it it deserves to be talked about so here i am to talk about it um it makes me sad though because this performance can be found on youtube um however i do not support all of that i do not support uploading illegally streaming all of that jazz i do not support that so it makes me sad that it's on youtube however i'm kind of like people deserve to see this performance because it literally changed my life i'm not even joking you um and that is akala by um it's it's a it's by Josue and pablo um and ken um actually this duet was between pablo and ken and when I tell you, it's going to play this at my funeral. Play this out, like literally play this at my funeral. I literally don't care. Like, guys, the way that I feel about this song, actually, like, it's not even, I mean, it is this performance. It is. But, like, whenever Pablo goes live, or, like, when he used to go live, and he would sing this song at the end of his streams, I would be levitating. Like, literally, I, I'd be crying. Like, I'd be weeping. I, something about this song, I just love it so much. And their vote his voice in this song oh my god it's so good it's it's just so good okay 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 anyways next i need to whoo i need to just i need to take a deep breath take a deep breath take a deep breath okay next is their performance for tm Doble Decada. Notice how their performances for TM are never bad because TM knows what they have to do and they don't mess around. Um, and I have to thank them for that because I love that. Okay, so TM Doble Decada. I remember my reaction to this. This was one of my favorite performances of theirs of all time. Um, I wouldn't say I want to play it at my funeral. However, it is living rent free in my brain to this day. Um, honorable mentions for Josh's doing Pablo's par in Ikago. Mm, and also honorable mention for Pablo literally busting a move in SLMT. As 
he should like shaking his ass like as he should like this performance i feel like this performance does not get talked about enough everything down to the outfits the set the camera work like i remember i remember phil core fest 2021 being right before this which i'll get into phil core fest 2021 don't worry guys i remember it being right before this and that camera work was just not good and then we went to this and the camera work was so good and i was just like yep tm they know what they're doing like they know what they're doing okay that's all i have to say about that everything down to the outfits the their energy everything like they were giving okay they were giving okay next we have next we have um by 2020 where josh looked like one of the three blind mice <laughs> Okay, but like he served and he looked really fine, like really fine to me. So it's okay, but like it just makes me laugh. Okay, um, I want to put this in. It's living rent free in my brain, but I don't know if I need to put it in. They did what they had to do. Okay, I I actually just watched this performance because I was like I need to brush up because I I just remember their outfits being amazing, like especially Ken. Like you guys, have you guys seen Ken's outfit in this performance? It is. It is just god tier i mean ken is always serving with the with the fits so i'm not surprised oh my gosh i need to really think i mean okay and we also needed to um factor in the fact that this was with, like was with a live band and it was kind of like the first time they had played with a live band i feel like is it living in my i don't think it's living in my head right free but i think it's in they did what they had to do because the live band was amazing the live vocals were pretty good and the outfits were just serving and you have to think like this was by 2020 yes yeah, so, like covid was still a thing but they did what they had to do and the camera work was good i'm not gonna lie next am i ever gonna go lower than these tiers i don't think so actually i have one we'll, we'll get there okay so we have guys this is also i put this in here for myself and you'll understand why um so this is also from their first ever online concert way back in the day. Shout out to the OGs, come on. Um, finesse. They sang Finesse for Moon Mars. I know there's a performance that they did on like a TV show. I can't remember the show, but me and Jasmine reacted to it and we were drunk. Um, that's all I remember about that. However, they did sing it at the concert for the first time. Like the show was after the concert. Let me just tell you my reaction to this. Okay, so me and Jasmine were both watching the concert, right? And we were on FaceTime as well. And I heard the first beat of finesse and I shot up out of my bed faster. I literally almost broke my neck, but I had whiplash. Like, I'm just, it was like 3 a.m., mind you, because you know, time zones exist. And this, this, this performance changed me as a person. I have to say play this at my funeral for obvious reasons. You guys know, or maybe you don't know how I feel about Bruno Mars. Um, so this kind of really was for me. I actually like to think that every time S19 talk about Bruno Mars, it's for me. Um, I mean, Pablo just had a mix exclusive interview and he mentioned Silk Sonic and I was like, he did it for me. Um, Cause that's just the type of person that I am. <laughs> so yet yeah. okay so next we have okay this is an iconic performance this is so iconic guys um so we have bucket bucket ba ikau i hope i'm not butchering that i'm still working on my tagalog besties don't judge me so this performance i think needs to go for me for me specifically needs to be under they did what they had to do um i mean you can go watch our reaction we were shook of course however i didn't know the song before this so i really didn't know that they added the rap so i think that kind of hindered my first reaction to it if i would have known the song beforehand i would have reacted differently therefore it would have probably lived in my head rent free you know it would have been a little bit different however i don't really go back and rewatch this often if i'm gonna go back and rewatch one of the performances from this day it's gonna be a lab because um, I don't know, I just freaking love that performance from this day. Um, but they did what they had to do and they made it their own and that's something that I love about S19. Whenever they cover a song, they make it their own. Yes, they do. 
how many songs SB19 performances are being played at my funeral? It keeps getting higher. Okay, so we have... We have... Love Goes from, from Back in the Zone. And it's immediately going to the top. If you guys have not been able to watch Back in the Zone, I know that they're streaming it, but they're streaming it for like somewhere. And I, you could probably find it. It's like we, I don't know, we TV, I don't know, I don't know, but they're streaming it somewhere. Anyways, that's not the point. When I first heard this rendition of Love Goes, I was like, this is different. This is different. She's different. And she, she just, she was the moment. Like, she stole the show for me, like, 100%. And I have to think about the fact that, I mean, okay, I've always loved love goes i know a lot of people probably don't listen to that song that often i used to listen to it a lot more like back when get in the zone like the album came out but i don't listen i didn't listen to it like leading up to back in the zone you know I, the different eras like i didn't overlap and listen to love goes often anyways but when this was performed i was like this is what she could have been they should i wish i wish 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 so bad that one day they release a studio version of this because i literally would be on the floor crying i actually that might be the reason for my funeral therefore they'd have to play this at my funeral you know it's just something to think about okay okay this is gonna be the first this is gonna be the first one that's not my fave okay let me i just put it there and let me explain so if you can see from the screenshot, this is the Phil Core Fest 2021. And you're probably like, Paige, what the hell? Why are you putting that as not my fave? Let me explain, okay? How many times have I said that? Keep counting, guys, because I'm probably not done. This performance, the camera work was horrendous. Um, the stage was absolutely tiny. And they were so tired. This was a point for them that I think, I don't know, they were just so tired and it was just so blatantly obvious and I remember Twitter being like, oh my gosh, like, they're so tired, let them rest and then I was like, oh, it can't be that bad, like, but they were so tired and you could hear it in their voices at some parts, so that is why it's not my fave. I don't think I've watched it since I've reacted to it, um, but yeah, that's why it's not my fave. No hate to them, I mean, they still served, they always do. Um, I mean, they still serve those live vocals, whether they were tired or not, and I appreciate that. But I just wish that performance just didn't have to happen like that, you know, because they were just so tired. Okay, next we have what on... I w always want to call it ASAP, but I don't think it's pronounced as ASAP. It's a SOP. I don't even know. I don't even know. But you know what I'm talking about. Um, I'm going to give this... Okay, I don't rewatch this often. However, I'm putting it at, at it's living rent free in my brain. Wait, it's living rent free in my brain to this very day because now what came out and remember guys like how they couldn't perform live because of all the COVID stuff happening and like they whatever. So I think this was like their first TV performance of what if I'm mistaken, please let me know. But I just remember they couldn't perform it live for the longest time. So like we still had not seen like the choreo and the live vocals together and we were like whoa um so that's why she's living in my head rent free also the outfits are a staple and it was so good um next we have mappa at the showcase um okay so i have two performances of mappa in here so maybe it will help me explain if i do both of them at the same time so i'm gonna put this performance at good but i have not wa watched it more than once and twice because it's just true like i haven't watched it more than once or twice i feel like they've performed mappa so much that i can watch a whole bunch of them and like not watch one more than once but now i'm gonna put mappa our zone day two it's living rent free ah, mm. play this at my funeral play this at my funeral yep do it do it because the girls that get it get it and the girls that don't don't and that's all i'm gonna say about that it's just it was beautiful the way their families came out surprised them so beautiful and the way still changed the lyrics at the end did anybody catch that i was crying i was sobbing i was blubbering i was a mess um that's all i have to say about that okay next we have 
um, them performing what on TikTok Live. And I have to also put this at It's Living Rent Free in my brain because, first of all, the outfits. Mm, the outfits were so good. And this was also their, technically their first performance of what. I mean, they didn't do the choreo, so like it wasn't a full on performance, but like this was like their first like live performance of what. And I remember waking up for this TikTok Live and I was awake and then I just fell asleep and then I woke up and I missed it and I was like, girl, like, is that what I do? I just fall asleep. Like, y'all remember when I fell asleep for bits? Like, is anyone surprised at this point? No, we're not. Okay. Okay, we're down to the last two. I feel like I'm talking too much in this video, but I just wanted to do a different kind of video for y'all because I don't know. I don't know. Um, okay, so we have... What is this? Is this by 2021? I'm gonna, ooh, I have to put this at good, but I have not watched it more than once or twice. This one, there's no really, I mean, it's not bad. It's obviously not bad. It's good. However, I just, I feel like some part of it is the stream that I rewatched was like skipping and it was making me sad. And also it's just like they have performed these songs so many times before that I just, it was like nothing new. So good but I have not watched it more than once or twice lastly we have go up from our zone I'm gonna put this at its living room for my brain to this very day um because of the mere fact that it was so beautiful it was literally life-changing I literally became a new woman after this after seeing this performance and if you guys were watching the first day of our zone you know that my comment got read out loud by the boys um i think i said like i never knew i needed to go up until i never knew i needed to hear go up like this until now i'm crying and then still was like i love you and i was like i was like i've cried before on video you just have to you just have to find it um but i literally was crying like that's that's the thing like i was like it was this the R Zone concerts just really changed my life. Like they literally were so good. The the detail and the band, the live band really made like this concert just really, really, really memorable to me. And it was just so good. Okay. Um, I think I'm done. I <laughs> I think I'm done rambling for literally like 30 minutes. Um, I'm sorry if this video bored you, but again, if you guys want to do this tier list definitely do it i'll try to leave the link down below and then you guys can like tweet me your tier list and i want to see if we have any different ones because obviously like performances are subjective like if you like one better than the other whatever and i know i didn't include all of their performances that would literally be impossible guys i just like included some like kind of iconic ones and like their bigger ones for like bigger events and then some of my favorite ones so if you have if you want me to do a part two of this maybe i'll do like their songs um maybe i'll do oh maybe i can do their tiktoks one of their tiktoks would be so good guys should i do their tiktoks let me know let me know guys because i literally will oh my god i'm a i'm a i'm a genius call me pablo i'm a bro anyways um thank you guys so much for watching if you like this different type of video please do let me know and don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell by my name to be notified when I post. I'm gonna try to be posting a lot more frequently. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.